hello guys and welcome back in this lecture we will be learning about gradients okay so what are gradients gradients are basically a combination of two or more colors simple it's as simple as that okay and in adobe illustrator we have three types of gradients we have the linear gradient we have the radial gradient we have the free form gradient okay and um, when you come here you see the gradient panel okay i'm just going to close this okay so we have the gradient panel here and we have the three types of gradients as you can see here we have the linear gradient we have the radial gradient and freeform gradient and all these gradients just tick after their name okay so for the linear gradient we have it in a kind of linear way so the blending between the two colors is kind of in a linear way okay so like for example this one we have this color okay and this color okay so we can see that there is now a blend between the two colors uh, in a linear way from here to here okay from here to here so that's what a linear gradient is and then <clears throat> the radial gradient uh, has the same blend but it's uh, in a radial way okay then for the free form gradient it's a more complex type of gradient and we are of course going to look at it uh, last now we also have the gradient tool here which helps us in editing our gradients okay so when we select the gradient tool we see these points now these points are what we can use to modify our gradient okay to kind of modify our gradient as i am doing right now and we can modify our gradients from here here also you can see the sliders here and we can just kind of modify them we can double click on on the points and kind of change the color so as you can see we now have this blue color and of course we have a lot of options here to choose from we have swatches to select from okay we have um this uh, eyedropper tool which we can use to sample colors okay so that's how it works I'm just going to choose this guy here or maybe this other one yeah so and we also have this which enables us create a new swatch with a selected color right and we have this which enables us delete the swatch or selected <coughs> okay some other things we can do here is we can delete points right now for example when we click here we will then see that we deleted that point when we click here we have deleted that point now we are left with three points okay and this these sliders here can be used to smoothen out our gradient now we have other things like the gradient angle okay, and it's the angle of the gradient right presently we have it at zero degrees we can have it at 120 you can see it's modifying here we have it at 135 depending on what we want okay depending on what we want we can also just select uh, one of the points and then uh, edit the opacity okay we can edit the opacity so that it appears less okay on our image so that, that color appears less on our image so we can see that uh, it's kind of transparent right kind of transparent and even the location let's change the location to see how it's um, it works so we can see that it, cho it, it chooses a location along this path okay and basically that is what we get these are the options we get to play with and for this guy we have the same options only that this guy is a radial gradient right so you can maybe make this zero and as you can see this part is now uh, it's now transparent just take it back to 100 and this is just how the radial gradient works okay we can use the gradient tool to kind of edit our gradient we can achieve very nice designs these gradients okay gradients we can achieve nice designs and we're going to use them in for the lessons to achieve really cool designs right so as you can see these are some of the things you can do with your gradient now we are coming to this guy 
who is the big boy here <coughs> is called the free form gradient okay and it's the most complex type of gradient here so i'm just going to drag this shape like this i'm just going to update our our artboard good now when we select the free form gradient which is this guy and then click edit gradients you can now see that uh what it does is it doesn't work like the radial or the linear but it gives us the ability to draw points on our shape okay so we can draw points we can just add a point here and we can see that we we'll double click on this point we can edit the color okay edit the color and then when we double click here we can use the color picker tool okay and yeah we can just keep adding points uh, choose the color picker tool make this probably brighter okay yeah so these are just uh what we can do with our with our uh, free form gradient <coughs> right and then apart from points we can also add lines okay we can add lines so with these lines uh, let me just create a new of a new um a new one here let me just give it a, a red color for now and then come and select this guy okay so how do the lines work right now when i select the lines let me just um you know what let me just make our artboard this big in the shortcut for your artboard is shift o okay shift o give you your artboard will help you select your artboard and um this should do okay now when we select the free form and then edit the gradients then choose lines instead of points we can now come and then just keep going and creating points along a line okay along a path and now we can now select you can now select each of these lines or each of these points rather select each of these points and assign a color to it okay select the points and assign a color to it okay and we can have the lines and also the points on the same uh on the same shape right we can have as you can see we, this is these points this one this one and this one are for the points and these ones which come across which which come along the line uh for the line option right and we all have them on the same shape so you can just come add your color come add change the color okay then just keep doing that till you get what you want okay so there is a lot we can achieve with this tool so lot we can achieve with this tool in fact this is one of my best features in or one of my most favorite features in adobe illustrator okay i like readings a lot yeah so you can see we have come up with something very cool here very interesting using the line type of freeform gradient okay yeah so you get the point oh uh, you now understand how all these gradients work so that has brought us to the end of our module on colors and color tools in the next module we'll be learning about fonting and typing in adobe illustrator hey so that's it for today's video hope you enjoyed it and learned something new if you did please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you want to see more videos like this make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads we post new videos every week covering topics in the fields of graphic design and illustration motion graphics and video branding and more
If you want to support us and get access to exclusive benefits such as the project files we use in our classes, a live chat with us, shoutouts and more, consider becoming a patron on Patreon. You can join for as little as $3 a month and the link to our Patreon page is in the description below. And if you want to take your learning to the next level, you can check out the complete course of which this episode is a part of. And in the complete course, you get access to more than 10 hours of video lessons, project files and resources, class exercises, a Q&A section, a certificate of completion, and more. You can get the course for a special discount by using the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.